and online. Later today, or late today, I should say, the National Weather Service confirmed an EF1 tornado caused this massive damage at Joe Wheeler State Park. When inspectors got their first look at the damage today, it was enough to make them say a tornado hit. Park officials say it'll cost millions of dollars to get everything fixed. All campground reservations are canceled indefinitely. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Dan Schaefer. Naja Sherman is off. Way 31's Breck and Terry asked what's next for the park and how long it'll take to fix. State park officials tell me with thousands of trees and tree limbs like this one down in the park, their first stage of recovery is going to be hiring a logging company to clear all of these downed trees out of the campground. It's just devastating because it, it hurt me when I first saw it on the news. Donna Haraway and her family camp at Joe Wheeler State Park regularly. Thursday, she caught a glimpse of the damage. The beauty, I think, has been um, destroyed in certain parts of the area. And in my lifetime, it won't ever be back. Thursday, the National Weather Service got its first glimpse at the damage, too, calling it intense and widespread. I've been working here for more than 15 years, and I don't think I've ever seen so many uh, trees uh, damaged all at once, except for maybe one other time. Brian Carcioni with the National Weather Service said it takes 105 to 110 mile per hour winds to knock down pine trees. That's something we'll be considering is how much wind does it take to snap thousands of pine trees? At least 13 buildings at the park have damage, too, with gaping holes in the roofs of multiple bathhouses and trees toppled over the day use building at the beach. District Superintendent Chad Davis said it will cost millions to clean up and repair everything. Never going to be the same. The landscape, landscape has forever changed, but the campground will be rebuilt. That's a message Haraway likes to hear. This is by far our favorite park and and it's it's evident because we live close by and we choose to come here with our camper state park officials tell me it will take months to get the campgrounds cleared and back reopened in rogersville breck and terry way 31 news now the marina and lodge are not damaged and the power is back on those areas are open to the public but the day use beach area and of course the campgrounds are closed